Hi everybody, welcome to another Unity tip. Today I'm gonna show you how to use the core routine to delay some actions, you know, on your game objects or whatever you want, even a timer, a counter. Check it out. So we have a scene here with a cube, you know, as a player and main camera with a script attached here, an empty script called game scene with the cube actually attached here. This is how the C-sharp looks like. So we want now to run a coroutine in order to have the cube rotating a little bit every second. After clicking the mouse button, the left mouse button actually, that's why it's zero here, just one time. So I have a snip code. It's start coroutine, let's go here. So inside the input get mouse button down here start coroutine it's the function you use to call actually coroutine you have to give it a name and like let's say rotate cube okay then here's the code of the coroutine okay so i enumerator let's call it of course rotate cube then we have yelled return new wait for a second 1.5 let's say one second it's like this Okay, and we actually want the cube to rotate after one second. So here it is, cube, transform, rotate 60 degrees every time on the z-axis. That's pretty much it. Let's save it and run the game to see how it works. I'm gonna click only once the left mouse button and see that the cube rotates 60 degrees on the z-axis after one second, not immediately. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. All right. So in this case, the coroutine delays the function here. But what if we wanted to make it automatically and go, you know, keep rotating it as a loop after one second? Well, it's pretty easy. Just copy this call and place it below here. It means that once you press the left mouse button once only, the coroutine gets called once. After one second, it performs the action, so it rotates the cube, and it gets called again. You don't have to click the mouse button again, and it goes on in an infinite loop. Let's save it and see how it works. Play the game, click only once, and let's just look at our cube rotating one second by one second, always 60 degrees from the previous position. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel to stay updated about new videos and Blender and Unity tutorials. And if you want to have some fun, just check out my games. You can find the links in the description. They will help you to keep your brain healthy and give you some hours of fun. Any feedback will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. See you next time.